You've got two of the strongest parents in the Disneyverse, Mal, so that makes you, like, a pretty big deal. It's just too bad that your dad jumped ship when you were just a baby. He could have taught you so much about your godly powers. Sure, your mom was no piece of cake, but at least she stuck around, right? The Mistress of Evil and the God of the Underworld don't come off as a lovey-dovey couple. But believe us when we say that it was love at first sight. Hades and Maleficent may be divorced, but once upon a time, they saw something special in each other. Keep watching to find out the truth about Hades and Maleficent's love story. But heads up, it doesn't end on a high note. No. No, I left your mother. She's... <laughs> The Big Reveal If there's one thing most VKs have in common, it's having a missing parent. Since the first Descendants film came out in 2015, fans have been curious to find out who Mal, Evie, and Carlos' dads are, and who Jay's mom is too. But it wouldn't be until the third Descendants film that the cat got out of the bag. Despite keeping it a secret from everyone but Evie, Mal finally spilled the beans and revealed that her father was none other than Hades, the god of the underworld. Ben was shocked to say the least, and more than a little terrified. Am I invited to the wedding? Hi, Dad. Uh, uh. After all, Hades would eventually become his father-in-law. Hades did what he had to do. Fans were certain that Hades would turn out to be Mal's dad, and they were right. In Descendants 3, Mal and Celia walk into Hades' lair to steal his ember, but he catches them in the act. Mal calls him dad before they join in on the wicked duet, Do What You Gotta Do. But before they can belt out their emotions, Hades reveals that he was once married to Maleficent. No, I left your mother. She's <laughs> not the easiest person to get along with. Hades then tries to bond with Mal over the fact that they both hate Maleficent. But hate is a pretty strong word, so Mal denies it, saying that she doesn't hate her mom because at least she stuck around. But what we're curious about is what Maleficent did to merit Hades' hatred. After all, he once loved her enough to marry her. But then again, both Hades and Maleficent don't have the best track record. The Big Bad Maleficent Maleficent is said to be the incarnation of pure evil. She takes the small things to heart, like being left out on a guest list. Maleficent is the antagonist of the 1959 Disney movie Sleeping Beauty, and she's known for sentencing King Stefan and Queen Leia's baby girl, Aurora, to die on the eve of her 16th birthday. Luckily for Aurora, Meriwether alters the curse, condemning their kingdom to a lifetime of sleep if the princess should ever prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel. Maleficent has done some awful things, but cursing a baby is by far her evilest deed and it's something she has in common with Hades, the big bad Hades. Just like Maleficent's story, Hades' story also begins with a christening, his nephews to be exact. Convinced that he should be the one to rule over Mount Olympus instead of his brother Zeus, Hades plans to overthrow him. Problem is, there's a prophecy about Zeus's son, Hercules. Should Hercules ever grow to be 18 years old, he'll be strong enough to beat Hades and the Titans. So what does Hades do? He sends pain and panic to turn Hercules into a mortal and end his life to prevent the prophecy from coming true. Both Hades and Maleficent committed terrible crimes against helpless children, proving that they were a match made in the underworld. Maleficent's Love Story Maleficent hasn't had the easiest run when it comes to love, which is probably why Hades found it hard to be married to her. Long before Hades and Maleficent tied the knot, Captain Hook tried to get Maleficent on board, but she zapped him with her staff until his hook was all that he had left. But in 2014 film Maleficent, we find out that the Mistress of Evil was once in love with King Stefan, who she had met in the Forest of the Moors. Unfortunately for her, the king returned her love by cutting off her wings, sparking the rivalry that led to Princess Aurora's curse. So by the time Hades came along, he had his work cut out for him. Hades Love History Before we tell you exactly how Maleficent and Hades fell in love, let's find out about Hades' romantic past. Long before Hades starred as the villain in Hercules' story, he lived on in Greek mythology, 
As the story goes, Hades, who hated living in the cold and lonely underworld, kidnapped and married Persephone. He forced her to live with him for a full six months before striking a deal with her and letting her rejoin her family for the rest of the year. Despite being kidnapped, Persephone eventually came to love Hades, but by the time Hercules hit the big screen in 1997, Persephone was nowhere to be found. So as it turns out, Hades has had not one, but two divorces, and he dated someone on the Isle of the Lost after Melissa too, but more on that later. I'm back! I can't be here. Go away, mother! Love at first fight. Both Hades and Maleficent have appeared in a handful of Walt Disney productions, so they met long before the Isle of the Lost was created. In season one of Disney Villains, the series, Maleficent is sent to retrieve one of Chernabog's precious items from Hades. Maleficent obeys her master and goes to the underworld to find the stolen artifact. Hades immediately blasts Maleficent with all his might and is super impressed when he sees that she's still standing. Hades and Maleficent have a love at first sight moment. Halloween with Hades in another Walt Disney series called House of Mouse, Maleficent and Hades come face to face once again. Hey there, hi there, ho oh there, Miss Maleficent. <laughs> well, hey, see, that's a real swell bird you got. But this time, Hades is the only one swooning. After getting rejected by Maleficent a handful of times, Hades goes to Mickey Mouse for some help. So Mickey teaches Hades how to be a nice guy and even dresses him up in a Mickey outfit. But when Hades tries to woo Maleficent in his new outfit, she turns him down, telling him how much she hates nice guys. Hades goes full on Hades when he gets shut down and even threatens to turn Mickey into a roasted mouse. That's when Maleficent finally sees Hades' evil side, and sparks fly. These two definitely had a history before winding up on the Isle of the Lost, so why did their relationship take such a sour turn? The New Hades In October of 2019, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, hit the big screen, and fans were quick to point out that Connell, the leader of the Dark Fray, is the Maleficent movie's version of Hades. Sure, he and Hades don't look alike or act alike, but they both have a common goal, to free Maleficent of the people she serves. Hades helped Maleficent escape from Chernabog in Disney Villains this series, so there could be a link there. Fans would have loved to see Hades and Maleficent featured in the same live-action Disney film, but that has yet to happen. Now that we know who Hades and Maleficent were before appearing in the Descendants franchise, let's take it way back to when Mal was born. The Villains and the Baby Mao's story begins 20 years after Beast and Fairy Godmother revive and trap the villains on the Isle of the Lost. But at this time, Mal is only 16 years old. So that means that Hades and Maleficent were dating, or married, for a full four years before Mal was born. We know that Hades walked out when Mal was just a baby, so something big had to have happened for Hades to throw in the towel. Hades and Maleficent were definitely in love, and yet, before she could start walking and talking, Mal's parents got a divorce. And Hades wound up hating Maleficent with a passion. So what happened? Let's look at some theories. No justice, no revenge. Maleficent, Hades, and the rest of the villains were used to being free and powerful, and being locked up on the Isle meant that they were trapped and powerless. We all saw how enraged Hades was over Beast's decision. He was literally going crazy. There was no justice or revenge to be had. Instead, the villains were trapped like animals and treated as such. Chances are Maleficent's need for revenge became all she could talk about, and seeing as Hades wasn't coming up with any master plans, it's possible that she lost respect for him and started treating him poorly. Hades goes berserk. There's no use denying it, Hades lost his marbles after a few years of living on the Isle. Before getting locked up on the Isle, all Hades had to do was snap his fingers to get what he wanted. But after the Isle, Hades had to do everything with his own two hands, and the same goes for Maleficent. Taking care of a newborn baby as an average human being does isn't an easy task for an all-powerful villain. Chances are Maleficent and Hades had more than a few spats, leading Hades to walk out on his wife and daughter. Powerless 
There are so many reasons why Hades would hate Maleficent with a passion, but we don't exactly know what went down between them. But what we do know, however, is that Maleficent finds powerful and evil men attractive, and seeing as Hades went from being the god of the underworld to a powerless stay-at-home dad, it sort of makes sense that Maleficent would stop loving him. After getting herself a daughter, she might very well have been the one to break things off with Hades. This would totally explain why Hades hates Maleficent. After all, he obviously has a soft spot for Mal, who he watched grow up from afar. Hades Instead of moping around and trying to win Maleficent back, Hades moved on to someone new. And guess what? In Return to the Isle of the Lost, a Descendants novel, he ended up having another kid by an unknown mother who he named Haiti. Haiti is part of the younger villains in the anti-heroes clue, so it's safe to assume that he was born much after Mal. One of the reasons why Hades and Maleficent never got back together could have everything to do with little Hades' existence. After all, Maleficent isn't one to forgive easily. By the end of Descendants 3, Mal gained both a father and a half-brother, despite him not making an appearance in the film. One big happy family. The question on everyone's lips is will Mal's parents ever get back together? Well, chances are, if Maleficent and Hades attend Mal's royal wedding, they might be reminded of their own and fall in love all over again. But first, Mal would have to find and turn that poor lizard back into the mighty Maleficent again. And who knows how that'll go. Would you like to see Maleficent and Hades in a live-action Disney movie? Sound off in the comments. And that's a wrap. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching The Things. We'll catch you next time.